A direct expansion or DX refrigeration system is the simplest of the refrigeration cycles. In a DX system, high pressure liquid is supplied through an expansion device directly into the evaporator, hence the name direct expansion. As the refrigerant absorbs heat in the evaporator, it boils as it transitions from liquid to vapor. The vapor exiting the evaporator is piped to a compressor which receives the low pressure, low temperature vapor and compresses it. The compressor process reduces the volume occupied by the refrigerant, which results in a higher pressure as the refrigerant exits the compression. Additionally, when refrigerant vapor is compressed, the temperature of the vapor increases. This is called the heat of compression and is added to the heat already absorbed in the evaporator. From the compressor, the high pressure, high temperature vapor is piped to a condenser which is a heat exchanger whose purpose is to reject the heat gained in the evaporator and compressor to a place where the heat can do no harm. Typically, the heat is rejected to the atmosphere. Inside the condenser, the refrigerant vapor is first cooled to its boiling point and then condensed at a constant temperature. The liquid refrigerant exiting the condenser typically drains into a high pressure receiver. Theoretically, a vapor compression system does not require a high pressure receiver, but due to fluctuations in load and changes in the ambient temperature, a receiver provides storage for refrigerant not being used at any given moment. The high pressure liquid from the receiver is piped to the expansion device where we started our process. The main advantage of a DX system is its simplicity, which typically results in savings when designing and installing a system. The downside is that as the warm liquid passes through the expansion device, some will evaporate. The vapor that forms is called flash gas and is unwanted since the vapor must travel through the evaporator but has no potential to absorb latent heat. The beauty of the direct expansion system is its simplicity. As you can see, um, high pressure liquid um, comes through an expansion device directly into the evaporator, exits the evaporator, um, usually through a valve and back to uh, the compressors. So this is a low cost option. However, there is a big drawback. Okay, so the drawback is as the high pressure liquid is expanded and goes to low pressure liquid, that a percentage of that liquid will, will flash into gas. Okay, and that gas has to travel through the evaporator um, and it's already given up its uh, refrigerating uh, potential because it's already evaporated. Furthermore, not only that, but it also, as we know, gas or vapor occupies a lot more space than liquid. So the gas is taking up space that otherwise could be filled with liquid having ref refrigerating potential. So for those reasons, um, the, the direct expansion system is not the most efficient option in most cases.